Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this third Python SQLite tutorial I'm going to show you how we can add data into our database and so for now we just created a table and if we go back to our script here we can see our table and the way I like viewing this database is by using an application known as a DB browser for SQLite so if you like it go get it but for now I'm going to use it to show my data and if we see we have a table and the table with employee records right now if we go to browse data we have the ID name division and stars but for now there is no data into this table because we have not inserted it in our uh, script so let's do that in this tutorial for you to add data into a table into a database you just say dbase.execute and what this does just tells SQL to get prepared to issue out an SQL command. So multi-line comment the way I like it. Whoops, I misspelled dbase. And the way we insert records into SQLite is just say all caps insert into. And what are we inserting into the employee records? Employee records and what in this employee records we have many fields so which fields do you want to insert into so in python sqlite you can choose the exact fields you want to use but in uh, this tutorial remember everything was not now so we have to put everything every uh, every field has to be accounted for and the, f uh, the fastest way to do it is just say all but it might come some cases that you just want some specific f uh, fields to be uh, inserted into but for now we won't use any shortcuts so we just go on all caps id name then we have the division and finally the stars so we tell it we are going to insert into this table and these are the fields we want to insert into so what the heck give me the values so we just say values all caps again and now in the values you now start creating the data that you want to put so I'm just going to use this as a template you can use your own data feel free so I have the first thing and the second until the fifth maybe I'll put like five so one then we have Lenny whoops not all caps we have the Lenny then he is running which division we have the software division and finally how many stars three not a very good employee and after doing this in sqlite once you have just done this you have not inserted into our table you need to tell it that we have inserted into our table now put these changes into the database so this is just like doing it virtually it's hidden somewhere in memory but you have to tell it now apply this it's just like when you go to your windows or something uh, options configure if you might have these options maybe you change the font and all that stuff then you apply then okay so that's what happens we have put the options now we have to apply them to the database so for us to apply them we just say um, our database name dbase.commit and github users also know what commit does that's the same thing it does in sqlite so commit just tells it apply these changes to our database and so if we run this by pressing F5 we can uh, now view it and I forgot to put something that can tell us a uh, record inserted but if we go to our DB browser under refresh we can now see now we have a data we have one Lenny software and the stars so that's just how simple it is to add data into our database so let's continue adding the data and if you will try to repeat this by running it again it's going to give you an error and the reason is the primary key is a specified key it's a unique key and that error is column id is not unique and that's because we told it for this column the id column it's a primary key and so that shows that it's a unique key it has to be different there cannot be two keys of the same id in this database and so that's just simple troubleshooting tips if you start seeing errors and you don't understand that might be the problem so we cannot have again you cannot repeat this so i'm going to move on to the next person 
we choose uh, Cynthia and which division is she running she is a manager uh, no need to specify so much in caps here and how many stars five wow she is a great worker and here we can just say um, print just to make this visible print a record inserted so if we run this now Cynthia will be added into our database and this is how simple SQLite is so let's just wait for it so as you can see record inserted if we head on to our database refresh now we have Cynthia manager 5 and so for the rest of the process I'm just going to continue on repeating doing this stuff so Harrison mechanics 4 so the next person here is going to be Harrison so 3 we have Harrison and uh, just some misplaced so Harrison he is in the mechanics division and he has four stars so he's also a great worker so we can just save and run quickly so record inserted add on to our file now the next person here is four the name is Joan and which division is she running so she's running the electronics and she also has three stars so not great worker and from your database you can now see how easy it is to add data and the save and run record inserted now for the final person James is in the maintenance and he has five stars so I'll just put here James maintenance five stars so five then you have the James oh my James and he is running the maintenance division oh my I don't know the spelling of maintenance I hope you don't mind about that and 4 stars so if we run this time we have now inserted all the records that I needed in this sample database you might have a database of 100,000 people no worries just do it and now if we refresh I cannot say I have every employee in my company everywhere in this database table and the table is employee records for now we don't have much more uh, employees and this is a great application for just viewing but in the next tutorials I'm going to show you how you can make uh, how you can view this the same same data using um, the Python script so for now we now see we have started by opening a database create a table here now we are inserting values and remember you cannot insert more than one uh, the same value twice you can have the exact same fields here but for the id it's a primary key and what the primary key is it's a special key for identification and it has to be unique if you try to run this you'll get an error because james already exists just the same way that employee record uh, table exists and if you try to run it without this simple uh, special command here is going to give you an error so in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how another way of inserting records a more better way because this one is not going to like uh, continue wasting your time running doing this running uh, enter run enter run, enter and this is a much more applicable way of adding records into our database that i'll all show you in the next tutorial i hope you're continuing to like these tutorials uh, this one was a bit tricky, but I hope you get it. And as always, stay tuned for this channel. New videos coming up each and every single week. And please like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.